this is G. So back at it again with another video. What's good? If you guys are new here, my name is Michelle, and I usually do videos on makeup tutorials and stuff like that. Except for today, I will be doing something different. I have mentioned before that I want to try different stuff on my channel, not just makeup. Although makeup is gonna be like the main thing here on my channel. But today, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys. Um, a part of my kitchen which is where I'm at right now you guys can see I'm not in my usual background space so today I'm actually gonna be renovating my countertops I'm gonna change it up a bit and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do so under $20 yes under $20 you could change your entire countertop and you just make it look different you know you you want to change things up around your house i'm just showing you guys a way that you guys can do it too within a budget so i'm pretty excited about that i've been wanting to do this for so long i wanted to do this for years actually but i didn't get around to do it until and i moved into this apartment i'm like okay you know what this time i am gonna do it and so let's just get right into it and the way that i'm going to be changing my countertop is by using contact paper which i bought at lowe's i'm going to be showing you guys so i got two contact paper rolls right here they i did got them at lowe's they were on sale they were actually for 7.99 i believe yes i 16 dollars for both and i think they're gonna be just the right amount for my countertops because it's yeah i just think it is good these both are 20 inches and 15 feet so and i really like this because it had it was this brand the duck i don't know if you guys can see there you go so i feel like this brand like their duct tapes and everything just really sticks on pretty well plus it says it is permanent adhesive backing so that is just telling me and i'm expecting as well that this will be like a very sticky it'll hold on right onto my countertop so i hope that it does and yeah so let's just get right into the video and this is apartment friendly as well which means it since it's a sticky backing you guys can easily just take it right off you know wash whatever it is that you covered using the contact paper with and you guys can just change it up so that's pretty cool about it so let's get right into the tutorial i'm gonna be showing you guys my countertops right now they're gonna be very dull very boring and you guys will see why i'm gonna change it so this is the design that it is right now it's not cool and it's just as you guys can see it's very boring so that's gonna change today so let's get to it right now what i'm doing is just taking everything out of the way because we don't want absolutely anything there when we're in this process so i'm just gonna be throwing stuff that i don't need anymore i'm gonna be washing certain things such as the microwave and my little toaster oven that i have next to it which you guys can't see but i do not want anything dirty when i have my fresh new countertop so that's what I'm doing. It was very tiring, girl. Like, there was things there that were heavy. And what I'm looking for my kitchen is to make it look like bears. Like, do you live in the hood or do we live in a white neighborhood? Like, bitch, I'm in this kitchen and I don't even know. <laughs> you know? So that's what I want. And I choose a marble design. And you guys can choose whatever design you desire for your kitchen. Like I said, I bought this at Lowe's, but you guys can also look for some in Home Depot, Amazon, Target, and Walmart if you guys are interested in doing this as well. So right now I'm taking my scissors and luckily the grid makes it much easier to cut. So I just measured this across my countertop and I'm starting to cut. And I'm showing you guys that it is a sticky backing. So if you guys ever plan to move out, you guys 
will know that you guys can take this off and you guys want to make sure that when you guys are applying this you guys are making sure you're smoothing everything out with your arm or if you guys have any other tool to do so then you guys can go ahead meanwhile you are sticking that onto your countertop and right now i just cut it there because there was a fold so you gotta make sure you always smooth everything out make sure that it has a smooth finish no air bubbles I do want to say that there is going to be some extra contact paper, maybe perhaps blocking the sink. All you got to do is take a card box cutter and if you don't have one, just grab the edge of a scissor, cut around it and peel it right off and you should be good to go. This is how my kitchen ended up looking like and everything just looks much more brighter, much more fresher, cleaner than how it was before. Yes, I also bought a couple of kitchen decor which i will be talking about in the next video look at how it was before very dull very dark and now everything's just more awake and that's what i love about it so if you guys enjoyed this video remember to like comment share and subscribe and remember to do something different try something new and get the fuck out of your comfort zone i hope to see you guys on the next video bye guys